we think that this animal died right here on this very spot. Often, uh, when animals die, they've either died from disease or some other reason. Scavengers and predators will attack them and uh, uh, scatter the bones. Water will reposition bones. And even other mammoths probably would reposition bones like African elephants do. Uh, this one appears to be untouched. There are two other finds, one going back to the 1920s, uh, and uh, this was in northern Ellis County, and then there was another one uh, not far from Lake Barkle. But these were just fragments, like maybe a molar or an identifiable bone from a mammoth. Certainly it was not a skeleton like what you see here. This one appears to be articulated. That means the bones are where you'd expect to find them. We came across a number of ribs, and these are ribs from both sides of the body. These bones here are part of one of the feet. This entire section here is the pelvis of the animal. Now, from the uh, diameter of the tusks and the shape of the pelvis, we uh, are thinking that this is a female. I can uh, think of, really, is that this is something that really I think should interest anybody in Ellis County because, and uh, this is something we can also think about, this animal walked across our backyard probably about 40,000 years ago. <laughs>